Hi everyone, in this lesson we'll be looking at the ethical issues, study and display of human remains. One of the major ethical issues in archaeology today relates to the study and display of human remains. In the 19th century and most of the 20th century, it was accepted in scientific circles to study and display human remains. And here we have some examples of those human remains. We have some of the famous plaster casts made by Giuseppe Fiorelli, who developed the technique of pouring the plaster into cavities in the ground to make these amazing plaster casts, which have become very famous in Pompeii. Uh, but, but some people question whether or not we should have human remains on display. In the last 50 years, attitudes to the display of human remains have changed in many Western countries. However, attitudes change from country to country. In Italy, there is a long tradition of display of human remains. So they've had these types of plaster casts for over 100 years, and it's not a big deal to them. In the last decades of the 20th century, codes of ethics regarding the ownership and display of human remains were developed by museums and relevant associations of archaeologists. In 1982, the Council of Australian Museum Directors passed a resolution that human remains would not be displayed in public. So Australia has been quite strict uh, in the way that they've dealt with this issue. The International Council of Museums, ICOM, in its Code of Ethics in 2004, did not ban it. But it encourages sensitivity to the community. So I guess it's up to the individual museums to consider the communities they're in and whether or not they should display human remains. In Pompeii, the plaster casts which show the victims of Vesuvius have been a popular attraction for more than a century. And I've been to Pompeii myself and I've walked around it and they do have uh, these plaster casts on display in glass cabinets um, in the city. So you actually go in, you look around, and in different parts of the city they have these plaster casts on display. The skeletons from Pom Pompeii and Herculaneum have been studied to reveal valuable information about the health of the people. There are many questions about human remains. What should happen to the skeletons now? Should they be displayed? If they are displayed, should it be where they were found or in a museum? Should they be buried? Some people are saying maybe we should just bury them like a normal person would be buried. Other human remains. Pompeii is not the only place that has human remains. Egypt has its mummies of pharaohs and other remains. And then there are the Chinchoro mummies of South America. There are also other human remains around the world. Now, in this picture here, we see the ancient Egyptian, Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun. So he's one of the most famous pharaohs because his tomb was discovered in 1922. So we can see his face and we can see his body. And there are other... There are pharaohs on display in the Cairo Museum. Uh, Tutankhamun is actually still in his tomb, uh, but he's in a glass cabinet in his tomb. And I've actually been to Egypt and I've seen the, the mummies on display in the Cairo Museum and I've seen the pharaoh Tutankhamun on display in his tomb. And I think it's wonderful. I think it's absolutely amazing to, to look at a pharaoh who died over 3,000 years ago. And they also have mummified baboons and crocodiles and other things um, in the Cairo Museum. Uh, the Egyptians mummified animals as well as humans. So uh, there's lots of human remains in Egypt and also other parts of the world. You might not know much about the Chinchoro mummies, but in South America, thousands of years ago, they made uh, mummies, which are called the, th the Chinchoro mummies. And we even have modern day examples of human preservation. If you look at uh, Russia in the 1920s, uh, they had the takeover of communism. Com communism took over... Uh, uh, in the in, around 1917, you had the communist revolution, and uh, Russia was taken over by Vladimir Lenin. And when Vladimir Lenin died, they actually preserved his body. And if you go to Russia today, you can actually go to Lenin's mausoleum, 
and you can see Vladimir Lenin, the once leader of Russia, the man who had the, led the communist revolution, you can see his body on display. And there are other leaders around the world who are preserved. Mao Zedong, the leader of China, was also preserved when he died. And Ho Chi Minh, the leader of Vietnam, was also preserved. So there have been a number of people around the world, even in the, in the 20th century, who were preserved. And people are asking these types of questions. With Vladimir Lenin, for example, people are saying, should we just bury him or should we keep him on display? So, uh, you know, there are questions about these human remains, but uh, I think it's up to people to, to make their own decisions. Uh, but, but this is one of the ethical issues uh, in history today. Thank you.